off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay So Ashley and I are starting out on a fun little trip this morning Or this afternoon I should say She has a cheer pool party Right, Ash? Mm -hmm. You excited? Yeah. Our fruit plate is two bowls of watermelon. Got the watermelon at Costco the other day. Cut it up into little watermelon fries, into little sticks, because they are easier to eat. Um, anyway, so we have a ton of those to take with us. <coughs> and Chelsea is here, she is doing Daisy daycare. Our friend just got to the airport and we are in charge of her dog for how many days? Five. Five days? Yeah. And so Chelsea will go back over in a few hours and play with her. She might even just take some of her drawing and painting stuff to their backyard and <coughs> let Daisy play in the backyard. Do you have both water bottles? Yeah. And a bag? Yeah. Um, Anyway, so Chelsea will have a fun time. Abby and Kaylee are both at work. Uh, Kaylee will be home soon, but I think she's going to head out and do something with Jacob, as usual. And Jason, of course, is at work. So, let's... I can't film too many of the kids <laughs> at the pool party, but I will film Ashley and I doing our thing. Um, and it should be kind of a fun time. It's the first time going to the pool this year, right? Well, yeah. We haven't even gone to the beach technically for like an I actual a beach day. I have. But who? Oh, that's right. You did go on Memorial Day. I forgot about that. We had better weather back in May. <laughs> so. Alright, so <laughs> we didn't film anything but the pool. But that's okay. You had a fun time? Yeah. Yeah. Being at someone's house is a little bit different. Like I didn't want to like Oh, I'm hooked to the, I don't want to invade in their privacy. But you had a fun time yeah. with all your, your um, fellow cheer people. But also, um, this is like the red squad. This is like her stunt squad that she just joined. I did do ch stunts in the pool where they would just like chuck me. Yes, yeah they did. They were practicing in the pool which was kind of fun. But we got a lot of information about um, her trip to Japan um, just because she was kind of asked to join the squad, join the squad right at the end of the season. She technically hasn't done any practices with that actual squad. Um, and so we haven't had any kind of a conversation about what the Japan trip looks like because they actually haven't ever done it before. They had it planned for April of 2022 or 2020 which obviously was canceled for COVID reasons. And so they've only actually planned at one time, but they've never actually gone. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, so it was very interesting to like have a conversation with the coach and uh, try and figure out, go ahead. Oh, okay. It was, we'll have to like, I don't know. It's, it's quite the trip. And she's even kind of, we'll have to talk about it later because I got to drive and figure out how to get home. But it might also involve Tokyo Disneyland. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> and Tokyo Legoland. I don't know. It's a group thing. It's a group thing. want to go. Those that would go to, they would come back, the flight is into Tokyo, and then you go up north to the North Island. Sapporo, I think is what it's called. I got to drive. We'll, we'll talk when I get home. Slight intermission for Costco gas on a Friday night. No, Saturday night. Oh, dude. Nope. Too late. Snoozy loose. Oh, oh, why are we getting out of the car? Oh, dear. Little kid is getting out of the car next to me. In the Costco lane. Or the gas lane. Okay, so while we have a second here, while we wait for gas, um, uh, we'll talk a little bit about what we learned about Japan. And I still need to talk to Jason about it. We have to like, we have to figure out how to like maneuver all this because um, we talked to the coach and they're gonna try and, there's two different school districts that is on the, her squad. Careful, there's a drink in there. There's a drink in there. We went to Wendy's. There's a Frosty. Here, hand it to me. 
I know, that's why it wasn't. Ashley Brown. Baby, why did you climb up to the front seat? Let's see, I don't have another cup holder to put it in. Anyway. Anyway, so, um, okay, so we the coach is kind of having to like figure out how to schedule it because there's two different districts um, that are on her squad and they have two different spring break time frames. They're a week off of each other. So I think we have our spring break first and then the other district has theirs. And so she's trying to steal from both spring breaks um, and go like halfway through our spring break and then halfway through the other um, district spring break so that they're missing only like a few days of school from one and then they get the rest of their spring break um, in Japan. But, um, which is a great option because we kind of have to like make it fair. But we might have, I just looked up yesterday, we might actually have um, all of our points. We finally have like figured out how to maximize our points and our miles on our Hawaiian card and our American Express and we might actually be able to have all of our Hawaii airfare covered to go to Hawaii next year which is fantastic because all already we have three plane tickets covered with points or with miles and so we still have like easily six to eight months left to earn miles and I, believe me, that's happening on our business. It's <laughs> definitely happening. So we might, and this, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we might bank off of that. <laughs> this might be the most epic trip of our lives. And it's all thanks to Mine. this little girl. Yes. I have like a zit that just popped up tonight. Like what the heck is that? My skin is not feeling well these days probably all the Bacardi pie I've eaten. <laughs> I haven't had like regular ice cream in so long since I've been doing my protein ice cream, but I ran out of Fair Life and I've had a hard time find, trying to find it. So I haven't had protein, like protein ice cream and I have just gone off of regular ice cream for so long that I think, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, just had to get out of the Costco line. Um, so I have to like look at the schedule and like, it, it's gonna take a couple months to like, for the actual squad, for her squad and her coach to work with an agent to try and plan the whole trip and whatnot. And we have to fundraise and get her portion covered, hopefully, her flight and her room and board cost, which will then help us ultimately like be able to get our room because um, they're gonna have us stay in families because so many parents are deciding to go because it's such an opportunity. But what I might end up doing <laughs> is because our trip to Hawaii ultimately could be free. Um, it might cost us a little bit for the hotel, but we're always willing to pay for that because it's such a fun experience. We might actually take advantage of those free flights to Hawaii, get to Hawaii, probably Honolulu, we might go to Oahu, and then um, because that's not during our spring break quite yet, we might just fly to Hawaii wait a day, do a cheap hotel somewhere in Honolulu, next to the and then fly to Japan on a separate like flight, paying for the flight from Honolulu to Japan, and then do the reverse and fly back to Honolulu after her trip to Japan, which is now halfway through our spring break. So we still have the other half of our spring break, and maybe a few extra days, depending on how much we're able to handle with um, our points for Hawaiian to cover a hotel and whatnot, but um, we might be able to do both at the ex at the same time, same trip, because then we would have a free flight from Honolulu back to Seattle. Do you see where I'm going with this? So it might be very cost effective for us to double up these trips because it gets us halfway there on a free flight. Yeah. It, it's just gonna be the most epic trip. The only disadvantage to that is that I don't think Kaylee and Jacob will come to Japan with us. So they might end up needing to, if they end up coming to Hawaii with us, which Jacob's like, when are we going next? <laughs> He's, he loves it so much. They might actually have to fly and meet us 
in in Oahu um, when we come back from Japan. Like they may have to do their own flight to get there, but they're adults, so they can do that. And I think that would be a fun experience for them to get to travel together and and be able to uh, meet us there and do the trip from there on. It, it, it's all the very beginnings. Our her coach hasn't even found a travel agent or just barely found one. Well, her travel agent is the, someone on the team. No, that's the booster club member. Um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think about. We have to start planning it now. We have to start saving now. She has to start doing fundraising. Um, they, luckily, they still have excess money from the booster club from the trip that was supposed to happen three years ago. And it still is in funds to help the girls um, go. Some of the same girls that were on the squad back then are still on the squad now. And one of them is actually aged out. Um, well, by then she'll have been turned 18, so she's aged out, but they're like, you're coming, because you were supposed to come three years ago. So she's definitely coming. So it's not yeah, like... She's also a really good base. The old squad is still getting to take advantage of the fundraising they had done previously, um, but it does have a, an advantage of... We have a more in the pot to begin with as we start the fundraising. So, anyway, Jason's calling us. All right, we just finished driving home while we talked to Jason. Got a lot to plan with that. I have an hour and a half before we need to go to our game night tonight. I forgot what day it was. <laughs> forgot what day it was. And uh, I don't want to waste my hour that I have, an hour and a half. I need to shower, but I'm not going to like get my hair done or anything like that. Um, just because I want to have clean, straight hair tomorrow for church. So I think we're going to clean this beast. I want to be in the sun. And yeah, you know, I didn't ask you to, but like this car, he, she needs to get cleaned. So I think I'm going to back her out and give her a nice little cleaning off. If I have time, I'm going to, well, I, I will at least wipe this section down um, and clean that. But I may not have time to like vacuum it. Ashley is the only one who's in this car. Um, and this is all her mess. So I might, um, I got to get going if this is going to work. <laughs> I'm gonna have time. Daisy, Ooh. come. Hi. Daisy daycare is started, huh? Hi. You gonna go for a walk? You come over and see Chelsea? Okay, I'm gonna show you the TikTok hack of the day to washing your car. You take your soap, we just have Dawn, works best, and you take off whatever nozzle you have and you pour the soap directly into your hose. Now, like that sounds crazy, but watch. All right, so I've got my car here. The water's on, I'm all ready to wash it. When you do your water, it immediately comes out with soapy water. So you're cutting your time down a ton and you're already washing it as you're doing the spray. It's gotta go fast though, because I've got water on it now and soap. Luckily we don't have it in sunshine. Okay, so now I'm gonna start scrubbing that down and then I'll hurry and wash the other side and then we'll rinse it off. Hello. My cameraman has shown up. I didn't get any help from Ashley because she's doing daisy right now. But I'm on my second side and it's, it's so fast. It's so fast, this is the best hack ever. Said every hack I have given my family. <laughs> Just saying, use these little, um, Terry cloth, what is this called? Yeah. Microfiber from Costco. It's ready to rinse off. I don't need a man to wash my clothes. That's good, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I'm just going to rinse it off and then I'll park it and then just leave your car there and we'll take yours tonight. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Okay, the outside of my car is all rinsed off. Now I've got a new towel and I've just got my kitchen cleaner. I'm just gonna spray off the inside front dash. I've gotta hurry and go shower. I think I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. So I gotta hurry. Guys, this was a brand new towel. I only washed the inside of the car. That's disgusting. <laughs> to be fair, I do wipe down like the doorway section here so that you don't get your clothes dirty from all the whatever muck that goes in the doorway. But I've wiped everything down, but I don't have time to pull out the mats and vacuum and spray the mats off. So that'll be another day, but this gross part is done. Okay, 
got cleaned up a bit and we are heading over for our game night. We are gonna have an early night tonight because our friend's daughter is going on her mission in like a week and a half and she's giving a little talk in church tomorrow so they want to get a good night's sleep. So we, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't, I know I did a lot today, but it doesn't feel like I accomplished very much. Good luck so, with match. Oh dear. You got blue jeans on, but, or blue, whatever, shorts. Um, so anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to stop talking. Gonna... All right, we just finished with our game night. Um, it, this is a group of friends. They're just so fun. And we played skulking. We're pretty competitive when it comes to playing skulking, to be fair. Um, but the host that we like we usually go to the, his house him and I are very competitive with each other and his whole mission is well, to make sure yeah we created it yeah to be fair um but his mission is to either win or not let me win <laughs> so um but it's always so funny because like we're very strategic and we we know the rules and we write them down and and uh, make sure everyone obeys and there's so many like different variations and rules to the game, right? But there's one of our friends who gets very scattered and like frustrated because she doesn't remember she all just the tries rules. To keep track of the rules. She just has a hard time keeping track of them all. We write them all down, and she they just are complicated. they are complicated. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not. And we mess up all the time. We're like, oh crap, I forgot about that rule, and then you win or you lose it and whatever. But because she, this one friend, like gets so scattered. We're always like, yeah, but you're gonna win. Like, no matter what, you're gonna win. And tonight there was three of us that were in the running on the last round to win the whole thing, have the highest points to win the whole thing. And I went out on the first round because dear Kevin made sure that I was not going to win. And, and that's fine, so I'm eliminated. And then two more are eliminated, so that left Kevin to win and I was like that can't happen and then this one friend <laughs> she's very last hand she's like well what happens if I play this well no she just played but she always plays it like that she's like I don't know would, would this do anything would I win if I played this you know and just, she's she just played her hand and she won I know but it happens all the time and so anyway she played the hand it was the very last card and we played and then she won and the game all the points added up for her yeah so she won the game and we're like, not that she doesn't try hard to win, but the rest of us are so competitive and we like analyze the rules and it's just always funny when she wins. And anyway, we, we always talk like, you know, cause anyway, we're all very loud and boisterous and, and whatnot. <laughs> we all just like talk about like when we're gonna be 80 and or 70 or whatever, when we can play in this game. Now Earl, like, I don't remember what the rules were. Did you play? I don't know if I played. <laughs> what, what it's going to be like when we get older and we're still playing these games together. But I'm looking forward to that. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Don't touch the steering wheel. You now have chips all over your back of your seat. <laughs> I didn't touch the steering yes, wheel. Yes, you did. You I know, but I didn't touch it on purpose. I'm in okay, your well, lap well, because you Don't pulled. touch the steering <laughs> wheel. I didn't reach out for it. My body is being... You're thrusting. Okay. Instead of grabbing the steering wheel. I'm being thrust into your side of the car because you sped up too much. Yeah, I don't even feel bad if you have cr chip, chip crumbs all over your back seat. I'm going to clean my car tomorrow. I'm not even going to feel bad. I just vacuumed up, or not, I need to vacuum out of my car, but like, if no, those I chips are I all. I can't trust you in the car. You're going to grab the steering wheel. I was sideways. I was, don't grab the steering wheel. I didn't grab it. Yes, you did. You reached up and touched it right here. I touched it, but I didn't no, grab you it. put your hand around my it. My hand was it. this way. Then you pulled it off. I couldn't grab it if you, my hand. You reached no. up, and then you realized what you're doing. Then don't do that. Then don't do that. <laughs> okay, we're going to say goodnight to you guys. <laughs> so ridiculous. Um, anyway, we had a good day. It was really fun. Um, fun, exciting plans for Ashley trying to figure out her trip to Japan and how it's all gonna play out. It's quite fun to like think about. So take care and we will see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.